Hello everyone, Christina here, broker of High Five Realty and Management. And today's video, I'm going to be talking to all you guys who are interested in getting into real estate and getting your real estate license and or you're already in class getting your real or pursuing your real estate career. Um, basically, I am going to share with you three tips that I think is extremely, extremely useful in in giving your your business a, a really great start. All right. So for those of you who haven't found the school yet or doesn't know what um, you know the the different steps to take to to pursue your real estate license, um, whatever state you're in, basically you want to go to the real estate commission website. And on that website, there's tabs and things that you can look through and to, to find out what, how many hours do you need to take, what schools are registered as accredited schools um, that would be approved in order for you to go ahead and take the state exam. Um, so you will be facing two different tests, one from the school that you would start taking your classes from, and then the second is the state um, the state exam you know for your real estate license so those are the two things to um, to look forward to basically um, what I wanted to share is that what they really don't necessarily teach you is how to get yourself going um, once you do pass that state exam once you do find that brokerage where you're gonna hang your license now what um, so when I started real estate about 10 years ago, um, I was told that it takes um, at least an average of six months before you start seeing your first piece of business, which is like getting your first check or your commission check after six months. Um, couldn't do it. I was a single mom, three kids. I did not have six months to wait. So I, I hit that ground running and I did everything that I could to, and I was awarded 1.1 million total sales volume. And it was like my third month after getting my license because I, I could not wait half a year to get paid. That is, that's ridiculous, but it is what it is, right? So basically what I would recommend to all you guys who starting out and may not be aware of that until after you get your license and once you sign on with the brokerage, then you find that out. So what I would recommend is that you pick an area, pick an area where you want to work. Um, you might be driving around and see all these nice houses and you know, you imagine yourself living there perhaps, or you just know that that location has great schools or whatever your reason is, pick an area, pick a city or a zip code or even a subdivision. And I recommend you go on to Zillow, go on to Zillow because at this point you won't have access to the MLS system, which is what we call our multiple listing system where we put all the um, properties that are active, we can see all the properties that sold, we can basically run reports and, and do our market research with that system. But since you don't have access to that at this point, I recommend just becoming familiar with that particular zip code or city, um, see what those prices are, see what those trends look like. You know, compare apples to apples. Basically, you take a four bedroom, two bath house and you see, okay, it's priced at this amount. Then you look up another four bedroom, two bath, you, there will be a price difference. It's, it, it's very rarely that they're all priced exactly the same. And then look at the pictures. Um, photos is super key when you are marketing a property because it gives a person, they can pretty much envision what the house would look like without physically being there. And you too can use that to your advantage. You can see what, uh, you know, if it's, it's a remodeled home, if it's an older finished home, does it have wallpaper, all those good things you can see through those pictures. And you can kind of see what different things uh, play a factor in the overall price. It's more to it than that, but that can just start getting your feet wet um, pretty much with learning the market because that's something you will need to know. Um, my second biggest, biggest jewel is to lead generate. In real estate, you are in sales. Yes, you will be a commission-based person um, running your own business, LLC, or whatever entity you decide to create your company under. 
but um, what they don't heavily teach you till after is to lead generate you have this is a people's business you have to talk to people and you have to constantly that wheel has to constantly 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 be going you got to constantly be talking to people because you know not everybody's ready today not everybody's ready in two weeks so you got to constantly be on the top of people's mind when they think of real estate you want to be the one that they thinking of oh real estate i'm ready to buy okay let me call you i'm ready to sell okay let me call you but no one will ever ever know if you're not sharing that and you can do that now while you're in class okay um because basically how that conversation will look you reach out to family you reach out to friends you reach out to co-workers and you say to them who do you know who do you know that's looking to buy sell or invest in real estate in the next three to six months right and why i say three to six months because let's say you go full-time and the class the course takes two weeks or maybe you go part-time and it might be a, a month you know by the time you take your course and take that exam and then schedule your state exam and then find you a brokerage and get yourself with business cards and all that good stuff you'll be ready to go in three months you'll be ready to go you'll be ready to service your clients you'll be you might be a little skeptical but at the end of the day you'll have business to work off of someone would call you whether it's a rental or somebody's looking to buy you'll have at least a database of people that you can rely on or that you can call on when you're ready to go right so that's crucial um a minimum i would say um you want to have at least a minimum of a hundred names and numbers and addresses right um because that's a good number to start with and to in order to get that hundred you had to have been talking to a couple of people it's a numbers game and the more people you talk to, the more names you'll get, the more leads you'll get, and the more people you can follow up and follow up. So, okay, if they're not ready in three months, they might be ready in four months. So at least you can put them in that tunnel or that pipeline for later on so that your business would just consistently roll. You don't want to have one person, you focus your full attention on that one person, and then once that deal closes, once that deal closes then boom you have to start from fresh you have to consistently find a pattern where you can constantly lead generate while you're doing your business constantly lead generate while you're doing your business and and that's gonna be for the duration while you're in business and that's crucial um and i also find that a lot of times just talking to people about real estate and trying to find out and trying to um see who's ready to buy or sell or who might be interested or can you get any referrals that is the biggest barrier for, for a lot of new agents is is just being able to do that to cold call and at the end of the day guys if you call somebody and the worst can, can then that the worst thing that will happen is either they'll say yes or they'll say no that's it nothing can happen over the phone or they might even you might have some rude people that hang up but at the end of the day you called you made your calls and after you do a couple of them after a while it's just the norm but at the end of the day that is the key to your business okay so those are my three biggest tips um, you want to go to the real estate commission and go ahead and see what you need to do in order to achieve your license and what schools they recommend to go in your state uh, two, you want to go ahead and pick an area that you're going to work on, you're going to focus on, you're going to learn the numbers, you're going to be the master of that market. And then three, definitely lead generate. That is like super, super crucial. And go ahead and go try to get you a minimum, not try, do, get you a hundred names and numbers and addresses if possible. Uh, and emails, emails is key because if you can't call at least you could send an email you can follow up with an email but you want that contact information from at least a hundred people and if you do that you should be good to go and my last 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 jewel of the of this video basically is to read i know with technology and all of this distractions it's kind of hard to set aside some time to sit there and read a book but to be honest in this business 
it's recommended, highly recommended that you get a mentor because a mentor really gets you out of your mind. It gets you out of your own way. It shows you different perspectives on how to do stuff. And, you know, using a mentor, they can kind of save you time on, on a road that was traveled already and the errors and the pros and the cons have already been experienced and then they can kind of advise you around those. So it speeds your business up, but it costs. And if you if your pockets are not right yet and you're unable to get a mentor, reading is the next best thing. And I highly recommend as one of the first books, um, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent by Gary Keller with Dave Jenks and Jay Papasan. And this book for me, I believe it was like twenty five dollars that I paid for it at the time. Poor thing. I like I use it up. The cover doesn't even stay straight anymore. But it was a very, very, very good book. Again, it's um, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. Very good book. I mean, it gives you from point A to point Z in this book. So it's really, really good. Uh, you Even here, they have some um, highlights from different people. Um in here and I'll just share some with you if I can find it <laughs> let's see ah here it goes okay so Lee from Texas basically said the mill the millionaire real estate agent changed my life the concepts were very awakening and enlightening to me the systems already mapped out for me to follow our price list just take the book and carry it with you at all times as a roadmap to get you where you want to go. I don't know about carrying this book around everywhere I go, but once you read the book and you comprehend what you read, it's always with you. So that is a, that, that's a good advice there. The mil, um, Elaine here from Arizona basically said, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent is a blueprint that takes away any guesswork. Facts. Now, there's no excuse for not knowing what you need to do for great success or even how much it will cost. I strongly recommend this material to anyone who wants to achieve millionaire status. So true. Very great book. I highly, highly recommend it. You can pick this up. You can either order it online or I, I'm a, I love Barnes and Noble, so, and I have one literally across the street from me. So I always am, am in there, but for you, you might could get it from um, Amazon or, you know, just Google search it and whatever works for you, works for you. Um, so those are my three tips. Read, lead, generate, study your market, go on that commission website, find out what you need to do and bam, you're on your way. Until next time, see you later. Love you. Bye.